Good morning, friends. We're here getting another roll tight ready. Ah, uh, yes, 605 with the backwards wiring. Signals are on the inside, brake lights are on the outside. <laughs> They're on the right sides, at least. That's all that matters. Oh, nice, nice, right in the puddle. Right in the puddle. Do we have air? Wonderful, wonderful. We've been getting a lot of rain here, which is good. It's really good for the farmers. Not good for the motorcyclists, though. One might argue that farmers are more important than motorcyclists. Let's take a look inside here. Oh my. Guess I'm gonna be spending a little bit of time cleaning up. Today's gonna to be a good day. One of those days where I gotta say it out loud convince myself it's gonna be a good day it's not raining the load I'm picking up isn't too difficult to tie down I've got to roll tight don't got a tarp it it's gonna be a good day I wish I could have like just stayed in bed until noon but <laughs> to be honest I mean I'd love to just hang out in bed until noon but, what do you know, I'm an adult, can't do that. So we're gonna make it a good day. That's actually not true, I don't like sleeping in that long. It takes the whole day away and wastes half a day. And I don't feel good about myself. If I don't get up on time, whether I'm tired or not, if I don't get up on time, I don't feel good about myself that day. But if I push myself to stay in my routine, I just find that the day goes a lot smoother, I'm a lot happier, feel better. It's always a struggle within your mind, right? You gotta take control of your thoughts. You can't always control what goes into your mind, but you can control what you focus on. You gotta try and choose to focus on the good things and what's positive. not always easy I'll be the first to admit that but you know if you say something out loud there's a much higher probability that it will come to pass studies have been done smart people science something about saying it out loud We're in right now, this season we're in right now, is my absolute favorite. I've said it many times before, but this is when all the fields are green. And everything, everywhere you look is green. But before you know it, in a, a few months, everything's going to start turning golden and brown, and it's going to start uh, getting closer to harvest season. A couple of days ago, I asked you guys who your favorite vloggers are. They don't have to have anything to do with trucking, and you guys gave me a whole list in the comment section of some really great content. Uh, I just checked out one that multiple people had uh, mentioned called Itchy Boots. 760,000 subscribers. Uh, looks like she rides motorcycle and she's going across Africa right now or something like that. Seeing as uh, obviously I've been obsessed with motorcycles because I can't stop talking about them. I'm going to create a meme out of myself yet. Uh, can Josh get through a whole vlog without mentioning motorcycles? The answer is no. It's summertime. <laughs> and she, uh, she rides motorcycles anyways. And it's actually a pretty cool, pretty cool channel. It's from like an off-road, on-road. It has quite a bit of views. Just checking out the channel here. Pretty cool. After work today, I'll uh, spend some time looking into that more, and uh, then I'll go through some of the other ones that you listed. Uh, if, if you didn't list any yet, your favorite vloggers, let me know down below in the comment section here. It doesn't have to do anything with trucking. Actually, if it doesn't have anything to do with trucking, it's almost better, because trucking is all I really do and focus on. So it's nice to be able to have content of something else. So I've gotten to my shipper. I've got to open up my trailer here. And get it ready for them. 
they will have been expecting me already so i'm going to roll this to the back and we'll load everything in the front so i've loosened uh oh oh boy look at that that wheel has come off i can fix this one second i gotta pull it back past this but first we'll have to uh loosen the front okay before we leave today we gotta fix that and put that wheel back on the track huh goody all right so now that the back has been uh, the tension has been loosened all this is all flappy now now i go to the front and i unhook the front and then we can roll it to the back so you always want to load front to back pin out, pull that down, push it forward, don't want to lose this pin. Okay, and then, see those hooks have released, and I should be able to just push on this. There you go. See, I spent a lot of time greasing all of these wheels, making sure that it slides easily. Come on. Ready. Uh, if we need to access the back here, we can roll this whole thing all the way to the front as well, and we can access that. But if we don't need to access it, then I don't bother. Now for this, I've got to pull this pin out of here. I'm gonna lose that. Let's put it down here. I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna put you down for this. I'm gonna have to pull this out past here and then roll it back on here and put the pin back in. This happened last time too. There you go, back on track. Well, then a couple of good whacks. Well, that thing can't fix. Put that back in there. There you go. I don't really recommend using a crowbar and whacking it to fix everything. Sometimes it works. So these are big roller machines of some sort. I'm not too sure what they do, but uh, they uh, store things and organize things and roll things up like carpet and plastic and stuff like that. It's for like big box stores, like uh, not like the big ones you go to to buy carpet at, or big rolls of plastic. sound has gotten old yet the correct answer is it never gets old never all right bud I'm gonna activate my signal what are you doing what are you doing you got no signal on you're just gonna don't act like you're turning you got no turn signal on okay you just didn't feel like moving over. Okay, I get it. It's just a courtesy to move over. It's not a law. I get it. <laughs> oh, 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 and I can't move over for this guy. I'll just slow down. There you go. Come on in there, Mr. Paul.
there are the other two roll tights that I picked up the last couple of days. I believe we did 546 here yesterday. We did 603 there the day before. And now we've got 605 lined up right here. I just want to make sure that the uh, landing gear are on the concrete. Concrete is sort of underneath all of this mud. You can see it sort of goes through there. Yeah, so that'll be good. Cool. Let's roll her down. Lots of water. Lots of water. I guess this rain is good. Some people were saying that we were in a bit of a drought in southern Manitoba here. I don't know for sure about that, but there's no such thing. Actually, I was going to say there's no such thing as too much water, but I should shut my mouth. There is definitely a thing as too much water. You don't want to flood. <laughs> I lived through 1997, flood of the century. I should know that. We had a massive flood here in 97. There we are. It was huge. trailer down nice and easy just pull the fifth wheel off of the pin just forward about a couple of inches these bags release really slow so you got to take a minute they fill up fast but they release slow okay we should be good now nice and easy there you go fill those bags back up And right now they got nothing more for us. I'm gonna keep ourselves busy in the yard here for a little bit. Till something comes up. All right, we're good. What's going on guys? What's going on guys? Excuse me. Excuse me. Good boys. Hey Wiener, where's Big Frank? Where's the commander? Commander? You guys seen him? Frank? Frank? Chevy, where's Frank? Frankie. Where'd he go? Oh. There he is. What do you want? I'm busy. Chevy, come here. Chevy, everyone wants to hear from you. Do you have anything to say to all the good people over here? Uh, yes. Um, <clears throat> Can you sit down to say it, though? Can you sit down? Yes. Okay. Here we go, I practiced. My dad is the bestest, best person in the whole world, and I definitely wasn't coerced to say this. Chevy, you're not supposed to say the second part. You said there would be treats. You did say that if he said that, you'd give him treats. Uh, and if you get some, I want some too. Did I do good? All right, well, Commander, there's no way anyone's gonna coerce you, right? You wanna say anything to the good people here? I'm not falling for it, ma'am. Come on, just say it. Say it. Not gonna do it. Please? Alright. Uh. <clears throat> this guy's pretty cool. Now give me my traits. You guys are like throwing me under the bus here. It's not cool. They really do like me. 
They do. Where's the wiener? He's hiding from you in the other room, man. Why would he be hiding from me? Wiener? 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 Chevy, have you seen Wiener? He's not outside. Is he? <laughs> okay. I better find Wiener. Wiener, there you are. Oh, thank God. Thank God, man. Thank God, man. You can't scare me like that. If I lose you, your mom will kill me. Huh, Chevy? Yeah, he's, he's not lying, little buddy. Shouldn't scare him like that. Thank you. I'm on your side, Dad. Do I get an extra treat for that one? Wiener, don't you love me? Well, define love. I feed you. I buy you lots of food. Well, I guess I kind of like you. I tolerate you. I'm the boss of this house. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> so that's our uh, that, that's my home life. Britt is uh, out buying pierogies right now. Very important work. Very important. Got home from work a little earlier than usual today. Usually I'm home around 6 o'clock, 6.30. Well, I don't know, but today I got home at about 4.30. The motorcycle still wasn't ready today. Super sad face. So I don't know if it's going to be ready tomorrow or not. Tomorrow's Friday. Uh, if it's not ready tomorrow, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to lose my mind or anything. I just really kind of wanted to do for the weekend, but that's okay. I'll have it for next weekend then, right? So we're waiting for... Uh, if you guys are just tuning in, we're waiting for the motorcycle that I just bought off a co-worker. We're waiting for it to get safetyed. Once it gets safetyed, we get a transfer ownership and uh, I get a new Yamaha V-Star. A cruiser motorcycle. I've been very excited and trying not to be impatient, but uh, there's nothing we can do at this point. In order for me to register it and take ownership of it, it has to have a Manitoba uh, Certificate of Safety. Uh, so it's a C... No, Certificate of Inspection, which is the COI, which is the same thing as a safety. It, they pretty much go over the entire bike and make sure that it's safe to ride, safe for our roads, that it's all street legal, and then they give my coworker, the certificate of inspection saying that it has passed our inspection. She's good to go. I have to have, oh, and then that certificate is good for one year. Uh, and then I have to go and take that certificate and bring it to our insurance and say, hey, this bike is good, it's safe. You can count on me, please give me insurance. And then once I have insurance on it, then I can ride it on the streets legally. That's how it works here. Uh, once I have it under my possession, I never have to safety it again. The only time I have to safety it again would be if I ever wanted to sell it down the road and sell it with a safety. But my CBR that I just sold, I sold it without a safety. What that means is before the new owner who bought it registers it and insures it and makes it road legal so that he can ride it, he's got to go and safety it. So uh, I was going to get it safety myself. But, uh, you know, he looked at the bike. He said, I want it right now. Would you sell it without the safety? I'm, yeah, sure. Knock down the price a little bit. And there you go. It's yours. You take care of safetying it. I don't know what it needs. It might need new tires. It, I, I took really good care of that bike, though. So I doubt it needed anything. So, and he saw it, too. You know, like, he took it for a test drive. He looked at it. And uh, he could obviously tell I've taken really good care of it. The paint looked brand new. It, it hardly ever saw sunlight. As soon as I took it home, I put it inside, out of the sunlight. And I put it under the cover, and I put it on stands. So the longest it's ever seen sunlight was when I left it at work uh, when I got there uh, for the day. Oh, looks like Bert's home. And she bought flowers. She bought flowers. <laughs> She's... <laughs> She's giving me a, I did something kind of look. Let's go see. Hey kids, mom's home. Wiener, your goddess is home. <laughs> That's huge. I did a thing. <laughs> I couldn't help it. They were so beautiful. You know how much I love sunflowers. Yeah. But there's more. They'll look, there's more. But wait, there's more. There's more. Of course there's more. I can't help it. It's a sickness. <laughs> Where? I have a disease. 
Where are we going to hang those? I think we might have shepherds hooked that we don't know where they came from. In the shed. So yeah, we do. In the front. I want to hang them in the In the front? Side. Okay. Okay. It's my favorite color combo. I couldn't help it. it That's cool. Happen. That's cool. I like that the yard looks nice. They make me happy. Uh-huh. Into the abyss. Uh-huh. Okay, it's not as short as I thought. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that one's a shorty, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You need to calm down, sir. It's getting rowdy. Okay. I'll mm. make these work somehow. This one's wobbly. They're not the same size? We don't have two of the same size? I have no idea where these even came from. Never mind two of the same size. They were really here when we bought the place and we just kept them. I think that these were at the old house, but I don't know where they came from there. <laughs> We just have random stuff. We have no idea where it came from. She got flowers, man. I like flowers. They taste great. So the shepherd's hooks are officially garbage. They're too short. Especially that one down there. So we're going to get new matching ones that are a little taller. We'll figure it out. Oh, a little bit a lot taller. A lot taller. Looks like we're going uh, shopping this weekend for shepherd's hooks for flowers they didn't have any at superstore so i tried i tried we'll check the greenhouses and stuff mm -hmm. and if all else fails we cut the hooks off and they're potted plants <laughs> again exactly i did that last year